Good morning and welcome back to the White Couch Conversations Hot Seat Edition. 17-year-old Drew Dang is taping an important segment for Hoover High School's internal weekly news show. The 50th episode is coming up, and his principal is on set for a one-on-one -on -one interview after some new school policies were announced. Did the Hoover staff come up with the school policies or the school district? So the, the staff was involved in a survey. Dang is an anchor for The Nest. The title is a nod to the school's cardinal mascot. This is where everything behind the scenes happens. For this semester, the senior helps lead his class of 19 to produce the show. The roughly 12-minute program covers life at Hoover and in City Heights. I am the anchor. I write the script for the anchors. I'm also the producer. I make sure everybody gets their packages done. I make sure everybody does their package. I also look at our clips, make sure they're all fine. Welcome back, Hoover Cardinals. He also hosts the show's signature Red Couch Conversations. Yeah, it's a lot of work in here. A typical episode features a sports update, campus and news update. events coverage, an interview segment, a restaurant review, and a few interludes, like this promo for last month's holiday concert. <laughs> Only five other schools in the district have a similar TV news show, says instructor John Michener. It launched at Hoover two years ago when voter-approved bonds helped fund a $2 million facility. The goal is for Hoover students to produce something, accomplish something that is worthwhile, it makes them feel good at the end of the day, something they can be proud of, something that people from the outside look at Hoover and say, wow, you know, this school is doing some amazing work. I just knew them as, you know, sort of a bad school or something like that. Labeled a low-performing school that serves a low-income area, Hoover hasn't always had a great reputation. Minchner says the broadcast journalism program is helping to change that. Each semester, it offers a new group of students training in media and journalism that few high schoolers get the chance to experience. Last month, one Nest reporter interviewed Mayor Kevin Faulkner. It's mayor that makes me so proud. I'm so proud of Hoover. This month, a commercial produced by the students for San Diego Restaurant Week aired on local channels. That's a real-world project. I don't know if we would have gotten those opportunities in the past if it wasn't for the nest. Minchner says the skills learned in the deadline-driven atmosphere benefit students seeking a career in any field and helps them find new interests. Hi, I'm Khadija and this is Hoover Sports. Like volleyball player Khadija Poo. It's just something I've never done before and watching the news sometimes is just like, oh wow, like how does it really put together? She now plans to study journalism in college. It should be in this week's nest. Dang says he's pleased to see his school getting some recognition. My friends from other schools, they think it's cool that we have a new show and they tell me how they want one at their school too. And it's, it's nice knowing that, you know, people are actually envious of Hoover for once. It feels nice after four years of being told that Hoover is like ghetto or dangerous. Michener says the program primarily focuses on positive stories, but isn't afraid to tackle tough subjects. Last year we had the deputy district attorney coming in um, on our Red Couch segment talking about uh, human trafficking and how it is a part of our community. It's, it's here, it's sort of in the shadows, but it's affecting some of our students. We just don't necessarily see it out in the open. Who can become a victim? Really anybody. And sadly, San Diego is on the top 13 cities for child prostitution. And it sparked a lot of conversation in classes. Like, that's really around us. You know, students asking their teachers about it. Created a lot of collaborative conversations. And, um, you know, it was kind of a good awareness to what students are dealing with in this community. This year, Dang says his crew is also tackling a heavy subject. Recently, I've given packages out um, besides child abuse, which is a really sensitive topic, but it's something that needs to be talked about. Two students who suffer abuse in their home set for interviews on the show. Their faces and voices will be distorted for the TV audience, but they trusted the Nest reporters with their true identities. He got really, really physical and he choked me until I bled. However, on Monday, a new semester starts and a new group of students takes over. And we're out of time. Taryn Mento, KPBS News.